Have you ever wondered why there are so many programming languages and what role they play in software development? Well, allow me to enlighten you. Programming languages are the vital tools that make the magic of software development possible. They act as a bridge, a translator if you will, between the complex world of machines and us humans. They enable developers to give instructions to computers, crafting intricate software applications that power our digital world. Why so many, you ask? Well, just as a carpenter wouldn't use a hammer to cut a plank of wood, different tasks and environments call for different programming languages. Some are designed for web development, others for data analysis, and some for building operating systems. This diversity of purpose is why we have a plethora of programming languages. So, it's clear that programming languages are the lifeblood of software development, but what makes one language more popular or widely used than another? There's a vast array of programming languages out there, but a few stand out in terms of popularity and widespread use. Let's start with JavaScript. It's like the Swiss army knife of programming languages, used primarily in web development for both client-side and server-side operations. With JavaScript, you can build anything from interactive websites to complex web applications. It's versatile, supported by all modern browsers, and has a massive community behind it. However, JavaScript can be a bit tricky to master due to its dynamic nature and lack of type safety. Next, we have Python. If JavaScript is a Swiss army knife, Python is the friendly neighborhood tool. Known for its simplicity and readability, Python is often the go-to language for beginners. It's great for data analysis, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, thanks to libraries like NumPy and Pandas. But Python isn't without its shortcomings. It's not the best choice for mobile and game development, and its execution speed is slower than some other languages. Then there's Java. This is the big, robust tool in the shed. Java is a statically typed, object-oriented language that's been around for more than two decades. It's used to build large-scale enterprise applications, Android apps, and even in big data technologies. Java's strength lies in its stability and scalability, but it's also known for its verbosity and steep learning curve. And let's not forget languages like C++, used in system programming, game development, and embedded systems, or C Hash, a multi-purpose language often used in Windows development and game development with Unity. Both offer high performance, but come with a steeper learning curve. In the world of programming, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. The best language really depends on the task at hand, the environment in which it'll be used, and the developer's proficiency and preferences. As we see, each language has its own strengths and weaknesses, which influence where and how they're used. So far, we've explored the importance of programming languages and delved into some of the most popular ones. But what does all this mean for you as a developer or someone interested in software development? Let's take a moment to summarize our key takeaways. We started our journey by understanding the role of programming languages in the realm of software development. We've seen that these languages are the building blocks of every software, web application and digital tool that we use today. They are the magic codes that allow us to interact with our devices and the digital world. Next, we dove into the ocean of popular programming languages, comparing and contrasting their features. We explored the robustness of Java, the simplicity of Python, the versatility of JavaScript, the efficiency of C++, and the modernity of Swift. Each language, as we discovered, has its strengths and weaknesses, its unique flavor that makes it suitable for certain tasks and less so for others. One crucial point to remember is that the choice of a programming language is a combination of the specific task at hand and personal preference. You see, software development isn't a one-size-fits-all kind of deal. It's about finding the right tool for the job. And sometimes that tool could be Java, other times Python, or perhaps even a mix of several languages. That's why we encourage you to learn multiple languages. The more languages you know, the more versatile and adaptable you become as a developer. It's like having an expanded toolkit, each tool with its unique purpose and function. It's this versatility that will enable you to navigate the ever-evolving landscape of software development with confidence and agility. In the end, it's not about which language is the best, but rather which language is the best fit for you and your project, so keep exploring, keep learning, and you'll find the right tools for your software development journey.